joined by half track coach Speedy Claxton and Omar Silverio. Coach, us an opening statement about today's game, please. A uh, really good game. Uh, I thought our first half was obviously better than our second half. Uh, we're getting we're, we're getting close to playing the correct way, house of basketball for the whole game. Um, that is our goal, and at some point when we get there, we I think we probably played maybe thirty two minutes of house of basketball today. Uh, we kind of let up in the second half, and we got to be mature um, and be able to play with a big lead. That's the second time this year we had a big lead at halftime. Um, the first one coming at Duquesne, and we let the team come back. Um, so once, once we do that, I, I think we'll be in a good place. Coach, before we open up for questions, can you just comment on Omar tying the school record for three-pointers? I was, it, man. I, was, I was hoping he got it. Uh, but really good game by Omar, and that's that's what we expect from him. Coming off the bench, we want him to be our sixth man and, and add some scoring. And he's been doing that all year, and hopefully he will continue to do that. <laughs> uh, questions? I'm very proud of him. Owen? Um, Omar, just uh, just how did you feel pregame? Did it kind of feel like everything was clicking, or, or was it more like kind of once the kind of first basket went in, you just kind of felt, felt it from there? I feel like it, it all started in the pregame. I always come out early two hours before the game to see my other team. And then we just felt like a, another game, another game, like another day in the office, basically. Just I trust myself. I trust the coach. And like I said earlier, they put me in a good position, and they always tell me to keep it simple. So. Kevin. Uh, coach, you talked about moving uh, Aaron Estrada the other day on Wednesday, more of a point guard kind of role, yes. facilitating, <laughs> getting nine assists today. really seemed like he was getting Omar and other guys open shots. Uh, how did you feel about him kind of running the offense? Yeah, he, he looked good today. Um, I've been working with him um, through film to to have him see those passes. And I think once he sees those passes, you got to give him those shooters that um, if he gets them the ball, they're going to make the shot. And that was evident tonight. Uh, but he got to just continue to keep getting better, keep watching film, and he, he'll be all right. Speedy, how encouraging is it to get this kind of consistent effort? Like you have a kind of crazy week. You guys have a holiday in the middle of it, about traveling. Like, what's the secret? It's, 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 it's very encouraging. Um, I was worried about this game because, uh, you know, I thought it would be a little hangover from Thanksgiving. But to these kids' credit, they came out here, battled, and, and really played well today. Uh, Omar, in your last five games, uh, counting this game today, you're shooting 57% from beyond the arc. So what, what, what has really changed for you after those first couple games that has led you to shoot so well from beyond the arc? Uh, I seen the first game, shot like 3 for 15, I think. And then I said I had to put my, um, my shots out, but I, I got to be efficient. So like I said, I didn't really focus on my shots and just trusted myself, like I said. Um, Speedy, uh, uh, in the, the second half, as they started to kind of make their, their comeback, I know Omar kind of had a big he's shot there to kind of change that. Obviously, Omar had a huge team overall, but also just for him to be able to make that shot in that moment. Just, just yeah, that was, a, that was a huge shot. I mean, you know, they was making a run, and I kind of put them at bay. I think I was hoping that he didn't pick up his fourth foul. That was a dumb freaking charge. <laughs> he kept stressing the playoff two free. He went in and played off one. He got the charge. It was a big play because we needed him on the court. He was shooting the ball so well. Um, but he'll learn from that. Um, but he had a great game for him. We're thankful. Speedy, when Detroit Mercy started to come back in this game, what was your message to your team to kind of hold the ground there late in that second half? Um, you know, we're still up 10 points, which is a, which is a big lead. Um, so I just told him to, to stay the course and just get back to doing things that we were doing from the beginning of the game. And to that credit, they did that, and I think that's when we started, that's when we pulled away again. Coach, you've talked a lot about throughout the preseason and this early season, how hard this non-conference schedule is for you guys. How good does it feel to get these two blowout wins in a row and be able to build momentum off that? I mean, it's great. I mean, I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> uh, you know, we did have a tough start of the season. We, got, we lost some games that we easily could have won. And, you know, that 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 could have steamrolled us into not playing well these games at home. And then we could have came out and been complacent because we were at home. But these kids, man, they're, they're a great group. Um, and I think that we can pick up some momentum here in the next couple of games and come out and play the right way, play house basketball. Yeah. Um, Omar, just um, as a team, 
just to put up um, 98 points, but just to say this offense kind of can be when everything is kind of clicking. I mean, they just let us hoop, basically. They, they know they tell us to hoop. <laughs> basically, yeah, like I said, they let us hoop. Just make the smart plays. Don't be the hero. And everybody can score on the team, basically. So we sacrifice ourselves. We sacrifice for the team. And basically, we just share the ball and everybody eat, basically. Coach, you guys had 32 points off 20 turnovers. What did you like uh, out of the guys defensively today? I mean, that's that's our backbone is our defense. Um, and to these kids' credit, they they believed in it from day one. We spent a lot of time over the summer basically just on defense. We, we hardly play any offense. And I told these kids that I'm not worried about offense. I know we have good enough players offensively, but we need to be a really good defensive team if we want to win a championship. And these kids, have, they... They, they, they pulled it in. I mean, we're, 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 getting, we're close. We're getting there. Thank you, guys. All right.